cloud spending can really be unpredictable, and manual cost optimization seems to waste more money and time than it's saved. But I've uncovered a secret that Microsoft won't tell you, and it could save you thousands on your cloud costs. Like many of you, I've been experimenting with a lot of AI tools to see how they can truly help me in my day-to-day -day work. And recently I discovered Archira, an AI-powered tool that uncovers hidden Azure savings instantly. And that definitely got my attention, but when I looked deeper, I was blown away by something that they call cloud commitment insurance. So Archira sponsored this video so that I could test it out for myself and tell all of you why this is a huge deal. Now, the best way to save money in the cloud are by using reserved instances and savings plans and the Azure hybrid use benefit. But the problem with reserved instances is that you have to build them way in advance, like one year or three year. And you buy them by the VM family, and so there's not really a whole lot of flexibility. So it can be kind of tough to work with. Now, many of your companies also have something called the Microsoft Azure Consumption Commitment, or MAC. This is a contract where you commit to a certain amount of spending and in return, you get some nice discounts and other benefits. The problem is though, if you don't spend enough on your Mac, you'll lose those discounts and benefits and you could even get a really big bill, which is kind of like getting a penalty for scoring a goal and that doesn't seem fair at all. So wait, doesn't that make saving money kind of a bad thing? Nope, it's actually the best part. Archira will help you save as much as possible in ways that you haven't even considered. And if your reserved instances need to be changed, or if you drop below your Mac levels, their cloud commitment insurance will write you a check to cover the difference. And that's really putting their money where their mouth is. And you can set all of this up with a commitment as low as 30 days instead of one to three years. And there's no upfront costs which is really great for your migrations and building those new cloud workloads. And Archira also integrates with Azure Cost Management, so you always know exactly what's going on. To get started, just go to your Azure portal and create a new resource and search for Archira. Then you wanna pick your subscription and resource group and region and give this new app a name. Scroll down for the billing details and you can set the auto renew if you like. Click next and then add all of your tags like all Azure experts do and then click next again. Now make sure that your contact information is correct here and then click subscribe. Once this is complete, you wanna click here to configure your account on Achira's website. Just enter all of your details and click sign up. Now pick your cloud. So we're gonna need some details here back in the Azure portal. We wanna look at Entra ID and copy this, the tenant ID. And then you wanna copy your subscription ID and paste those back here in the Achira portal. Then click continue and authorize. Then you wanna sign in and read through the details here so you know what you're consenting to and click accept. And your status should look like this. If not, you wanna give it a minute and then click here to check your status again. When you're ready, you can continue. Now, if you're a CSP, you probably want the subscription method since you normally have a limited scope in all those people's environments. For everybody else, you're probably gonna want the billing account option. Check the box for the account that you wanna use and click continue. And these are the details of what you're gonna deploy in your Azure environment. A resource group with a storage account to privately export your cost data and a role so Archira can read what it needs to. Just click verify. Now this page is telling you all about the stuff that we already did in Azure, which was deploying the Archira SaaS application and this storage account and blob container. So scroll down to the bottom here and just confirm that you're already onboarded. And Archira has already begun analyzing your costs and finding ways to save. Now, when that's done, you'll get an email with all of those details shortly, which will look something like this. And of course, you could set up a call and start analyzing things with those folks and planning out how you can do all of your savings. So once the analysis is complete, your dashboard will look something like this. And right off the bat, you can see that there's a whole bunch of potential savings here for you. And you can see all the details here in the commitment plan. Now, if you're sharp, and I know that you are because you're subscribed to the Azure Academy, you'd have noticed that the highest savings plan isn't the recommended one. And I think the reason for that is most people believe in trust, but verify. They see something like this and they really hope that it's true, but they don't wanna jump all the way in and commit for the long haul and only to get disappointed. 
So Archira understands that and they've recommended the plan for just a short 30 days. That's how confident they are that they can help you. And once you see that everything they're saying is true, you'll definitely want to grab those higher savings plans. So just scroll down to the bottom here and click apply for the plan you want and then sit back and just wait for those savings. But this is just the beginning of saving money in Azure. And if you want to save more, then you're going to want this video on how to right size your VMs. And happy learning.